where are you from? Oh, I'm from Shrawa. Oh, how long have you been in Malaysia? <laughs> and I'm just like, what? <laughs> I've been here my whole life. My name is Melinya. I am a Bidayu from Shrawa. I'm actually Kristang from Melaka. I am from Sabah. My ethnicity, I am Kadazan Dusun. In my birth certificate, I'm officially listed as a Kadazan from Sabah. What does it mean to be a Dan Lain Lain? Being Lain Lain to me, I think I feel like a chameleon. Sometimes being in Malaysia, West Malaysia in particular, it feels like I'm a rare Pokemon. People don't know what I am. Eh, you are Lain Lain. Tell me about something about yourself, but you don't look like Lain. Really? You're Shrawakian? You don't look like one. Like, what, that, what does that even mean? When it's Chinese New Year, people would think that I'm Chinese. Are you Malay? I said no. Then what are you? I thought you are Indian. My native language is Kadazan Dusun. Kadazan Dusun. In Melaka, we speak Kristang. I'm a Bidayu, but I can't speak Bidayu. I grew up in an Iban longhouse, so I guess you would say my native language is Iban. Common stereotype. Every Kristang has tattoos. That we live on trees. <laughs> We usually use the word balls a lot, like how Malaysians use the word la. <laughs> <laughs> and that we need to um, get phone coverage to climb the tree. I've heard that since I was so young, it's not even funny. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Shrawa. Oh, how long have you been in Malaysia? What? <laughs> I've been here my whole life. I don't know what you mean by that. But I would feel more hurt when people think you still live on trees and you find so hard to prove when I was younger. No, you know, like we have cars. I've been fortunate enough to not have any weird questions about being a Dan Lain Lain or being a Shrawakin. I'm a sound engineer, so I work in an industry that is kind of open and accepting and don't really care where you come from as long as you do the work that is required of you. I feel like a super Malaysian, like it's like me and then people think that I'm all these type of ethnicities, even though I'm line line, makes me feel so strong. People like to hang around with people they have in common with. Like, what's the point of having that mentality? La? You cannot join this guy, you cannot join that guy. That mentality just have to go away. La. Why can't Malaysians just be along the other Malaysians? Because there's so much I can say for people being comfortable in their own bubble. But if I don't take the step to actually hulurkan my hand and say like, hey, come here, <laughs> you know, and hang out. Like sometimes that they just isolate themselves there. But also it's our responsibility to reach out. What makes a Malaysian a Malaysian? A kind of camaraderie or love for your country and your people. We can combine three languages into one sentence. Boss, <laughs> take satu ikat tepi. So you see. I used to have a friend and uh, he was this race and he was always just mingling with this race. So instead of me just complaining, I became friends with him. He was like, wow, okay, these are the things that you do. Like, it just helped this person open their mind. And I, I specifically want to mention Merdeka. But the thing is, Sabah and Sarawak gain our independence. We gain our independence first before forming Malaysia. So why was that not taught in school? Instead, we were given a, a wrong fact. I mean, that's oxymoron right there, but we were given something that's not even factual in our history textbook. And I had to learn about this in college. Whenever something bad happens, look for those who help, because there will always be those who help. If you don't understand, if let's say I'm a new kid in school and you see this new Shrawakin girl that just suddenly walks into your class, you know, Come up to me, talk to me, ask me questions. I don't mind. There's no such thing as stupid questions, but it means that you're showing effort. At least you don't unintentionally make fun of us and make us feel like we're make us feel like we're not Malaysian enough. Like when you are younger, you have you know Malay friends, you have Sabahan friends, you have Chinese friends, you have um, Indian friends, Sarawakian friends, Kristang friends. You know all these things. Just by having that nurturing since young. I think that makes you like Malaysian as a whole. Just by understanding each other's cultures, your friends' cultures, your this and that and this and that. Yeah, I think that's what makes Malaysian Malaysian. 